வெல்கம் பேக் டு த வீடியோ சீரீஸ் ஆன் மேக்ஸ் ரிவிஷன் மேட் மெட்டிகுலர்ஸ் டே நைன் இன்டகிரேஷன் பை பார்ஷியல் ஃப்ராக்ஷன்ஸ் ரிவிஷன் ஆஸ் த நேம் சஜஸ்ட் மீன்ஸ் லுக்கிங் பேக் ஓவர் ப்ரீவியஸ்லி லேர்ன் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் என்ஷூரிங் தட் இட் இஸ் கிளியர் அண்ட் ஃப்ரெஷ் இன் த மைண்ட் ஃபைவ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் பர் டே ஃப்ரம் செலக்டட் டாபிக் இஸ் ப்ரெசென்டட் அட் திஸ் வீடியோ சீரீஸ் The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Let us see what do you mean by partial fraction. Rational function is of the form p of x by q of x where q of x is not equal to 0. Where p of x is a polynomial and q of x is a polynomial. Depending on the degree of p of x and q of x, we are going to define the nature of partial fraction. nature of the rational function rational function is proper if degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x that is numerator degree is less than the denominator degree it will be improper if the numerator degree is greater than denominator degree now let us take two examples now 3x minus 2 by x square plus 2x plus 3 degree of numerator is 1 degree of denominator is 2 therefore it is proper here 3x square minus x minus 2 upon x square plus 2x plus 3 numerator degree is 2 denominator degree is also 2 therefore improper suppose numerator degree is 3 denominator degree is 2 also it is improper but the proper rational function can be reduced to sorry improper can be reduced to proper by long division process we will see it in one of the examples already we have seen it but we will see it once again therefore we are having a rational expression or rational function of the form p of x by q of x and we are going to do the integration by partial fraction let us what is the technique now the process of expressing the rational function to be integrated as the sum of simpler rational function and integrating is called integration by partial fraction we are going to write the given rational function as sum of simple rational function the form of the partial fraction is decided by the factors in the denominator the numerator is used to check whether it is improper or proper but the term the factors which are in the denominator now i have used the word factors therefore we will try to reduce the denominator or we will factorize it into factors for example it may be factorized into product of linear factor or product of quadratic factors or product of linear and quadratic factor and so on therefore the denominator factors will decide the form of the partial fraction let us now have one first type of partial fraction for every linear factor of the form ax plus b only ax plus b whole power 1 in the denominator there exists a partial fraction of the form a upon ax plus b capital a upon ax plus b for every linear factor for example you take this example 2x plus 3 upon x minus 1 into 2x plus 3. How many linear factors are there? 2 are there. Both are not repeating. Both the power is 1. Similarly, you take this example. x minus 3 upon x plus 1 into x plus 3 into 4 minus x. Here you have to first decide whether it is a proper or improper. Both the fractions are proper fraction because numerator degree is 1, denominator degree is 2 and 3. Well, now... what this form tells for every linear factor we should have a prop partial fraction therefore for the first one it is a by the first plus b by the second how you can tell about the second one for every linear factor you should have a partial fraction therefore a upon x plus 1 b upon x plus 3 plus c upon 4 minus x for we are writing the given rational function as the sum of linear proper fractions a by the linear one plus b by the linear one similarly plus c by linear okay let us now go for a problem now x upon x plus 1 into x plus 2 suppose in the exam if they were given the denominator as expanded form of x plus 1 into x plus 2 also either you can do it again factorize and do it by partial fraction or you can go back to the method already we have seen numerator is a linear factor denominator is a quadratic factor this left to you but if the denominator is having more than two linear factors then you have to use this uh, partial fraction technique only well now the denominator is having this is a proper fraction denominator is having two 
linear factor therefore a upon the first one plus b upon the second one now we have to eliminate a and b and do the integration that is our technique to get the value of a and b first cross multiply cross multiply with x plus 1 and x plus 2 it will become a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1 we have to get the value of a and b two ways of getting it what you can do collect the coefficient of x in the left hand side that is already x on the right hand side collect the coefficient of x it will be a plus b Correct the constant term, it is 2a plus b. Now you can equate and then you can eliminate. And there is another way is there. You make the coefficient of a as 0 by selecting a suitable value for x. And similarly, make the coefficient of b as 0 by selecting a suitable value for b. This is called, this another is called elimination. But I will take x is equal to minus 2 so that a will become 0. Coefficient of a will become 0. The part will become minus 2 is equal to b into minus 1 therefore b is equal to 2 similarly let me select x is equal to minus 1 so that the coefficient of b will become 0 here it will become minus 1 is equal to a minus 1 is equal to a into 1 therefore a is equal to minus 1 for we have got the values for a and b now put it there for minus 1 by x plus 1 plus 2 by x plus 2 when you take the lcm on the right hand side and then uh, you will get back the left hand side if you want you can check it also x plus 1 into x plus 2 is the denominator therefore the numerator will become minus x minus 2 plus that is minus 1 into x plus 2 plus 2 into x plus 1 then it will get cancelled you will get the value of x right. therefore if you want to integrate the left hand side you have to integrate the right hand side which formula we have to use dx upon x is log x therefore the first integral is minus log of x plus 1 the second integral is log of x plus 2 for here when the linear factors are in the denominator the answer will be log of log of therefore the value of a and b is going to decide the final answer therefore be careful while you are eliminating a and b okay let us go to the next problem where we were talking about improper fraction that is a numerator and denominator degree are equal or numerator degree is greater than the denominator degree what do we have to do we have to do normal division method divide the numerator by the denominator here you are having x square therefore take 1 for again you know how to do the division therefore x square plus x minus 6 therefore the remainder is 5 how to write the fraction now q plus r by d form remember this what is q quotient plus remainder by divisor q plus r by d form for you put it there it will become 5 1 plus 5 upon x square plus x minus 6 for the fraction which you are getting in the second term is a proper fraction now now how to do the integration now integration of the left hand side is equal to integration of the right hand side two terms are there now the second integral can be done by the method which you have already seen that is the denominator is a quadratic factor you can do directly also but now let us tackle this with the proper fraction technique therefore i am writing the denominator in terms of factors x square plus x minus 6 is x plus 3 into x minus 2. Remember, this technique of partial fraction will be applied only when the denominator can be factorized into factors. Otherwise, we will do by the normal method which we have already seen earlier. For the same thing, write it as a upon x plus 3 plus b upon x minus 2. Do the cross multiplication. And you will get 1 is equal to a into x minus 2 plus b into x plus 3. Here put x is equal to 2 so that the coefficient of a becomes 0. And you will get b is equal to 1 by 5. Similarly take x is equal to minus 3 to make the coefficient of b as 0. And you will get a is equal to minus 1 by 5. Let us put it there now. It will become minus 1 by 5 by x plus 3 plus 1 by 5 by x minus 2. For let us do the integration now for we are replacing that 1 upon x plus 3 into x minus 2 as minus 1 by 5 upon x plus 3 plus 1 by 5 by x minus 2 1 by 5 comes out it will get cancelled with that 5 but now the integ it is ready for integration now the first integral log of x plus 3 second integral log of x minus 2 be careful when the coefficient of x is other than 1 that is if it is minus you have to divide by that minus sign be careful with that <coughs> let us move on to the next problem where the denominator degree is 3 and numerator degree is 1 our denominator they have already given you 
as a product of three factors otherwise you have to factorize the same technique a by the first one plus b by the second one plus c by the third one now multiply both side by that uh, denominator you will get a into x minus 2 into x minus 3 b into x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus c into x minus 1 into x minus 2 now the same technique as we have uh, done earlier put x is equal to 1 so that uh, two of them will get cancelled you will get the value of a then put, put x is equal to 2 so that the coefficient of a and the coefficient of c will become 0 you will get the value of uh, b now we cannot uh, put some more values now whatever you what you take 1 and 2 or 1 and 3 then it will get uh, all of them are getting cancelled therefore you can put x is equal to 3 now so that the coefficient of a will a and b will become 0 you will get c very simple technique by making the coefficient of two constants as a 0 we are getting the other un unknown <coughs> For we got the values of a1, b minus 5 and c4 for integration of the left hand side is the integration of the right hand side. Right hand side integration is very simple now. It is log of the first one plus log of the second one plus log of the third one. We are simply using the formula of integral dx upon x. But be careful while you are doing it. Check whether the coefficient of x is minus 1 or something other than 1. That should be divided after the formula is extracted. Now let us move on to the next type. In the previous type you have seen that the linear factor is not repeated. It is coming single for example x plus 2, x plus 3 like that. Now suppose if it is whole square, whole cube like that, then we are going for it. You visualize this now 2x plus 3 upon x minus 1 into 2x plus 3 whole square and another one is x minus 3 upon x plus 1 whole square into x plus 3 whole square. What this form tells that for every linear factor repeated you should have that number of partial fractions. For example, if it is whole square, that should be 2. If it is whole cube, that should be 3. If it is whole power 4, that should be 4 for that particular linear factor. For example, the first one, x minus 1, it is a normal one. Therefore, it will be a upon x minus 1. But for 2x plus 3 whole square, you should have two partial fractions like this. b upon the first one plus e upon the whole square. Suppose if it is 2x plus 3 the whole cube, you will have one more d upon 2x plus 3 the whole cube. Suppose if it is 2x plus 3 whole power 4, you will have one more e upon 2x plus 3 whole power 4 like that. For every repeated linear factor, the denominator, there should be a partial fraction, how many times it is repeated. Okay, let us go to the second example. Here x plus 1 whole square, x plus 1 is repeated 2 times, x plus 3 whole square, therefore x plus 3 repeated 2 times. Therefore, for x plus 1 whole square, you should have 2 and for x plus 3 whole square, you should have 2. For a upon x plus 1 plus b upon x plus 1 whole square, this is for x plus 1 whole square. Again, for x plus 3 whole square, it is c upon x plus 3 and d upon x plus 3 the whole square. Well, therefore, for every repeated linear factor, you should have that number of partial fractions. Constant by that, constant by that, constant by that. Let us go to this problem now, x upon x minus 1 the whole square into x plus 2 the whole square, x upon x minus 1 the whole square, therefore for this you should have two fractions, a upon x minus 1 plus b upon x minus 1 the whole square and uh, you for that x plus 2 you will have c upon x plus 2. Multiply both sides by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2. We got this expression x is equal to a into x minus 1 into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 2 into c into x minus 1 whole square. We use the same technique in the beginning. Let us try to make the coefficient of any 2 as 0. Therefore, by take x is equal to 1, coefficient of a becomes 0 and coefficient of c becomes 0, you get the value of b as 1 by 3. When I put x is equal to minus 2, the coefficient of a becomes 0 and b becomes 0, you will get the value of c. Okay, anyway, now we cannot now take any other value now. Therefore, what we will do is, we will just put some value at random we will put x is equal to 0. Then you will get a expression involving a, b, c and uh, by putting the value of b and c you will get the value of a. Well, it is a technique is very simple. We are uh, going on putting some values and evaluating the value of a, b, c. Now we got the value of a, b, c now. Put it inside the 
partial fraction 2 by 9 by that 1 by 3 by and minus 2 by 9 integrate it for 2 by 9 by integral 1 upon x minus 1 and oh, dx upon x minus 1 the whole square and integral 1 upon x plus 2 constants are very very important now we have to integrate it is uh, 2 by 9 into log of x we got this expression x is equal to a into x minus 1 into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 2 into c into x minus 1 whole square we use the same technique in the beginning let us try to make the coefficient of any 2 as 0 therefore why take x is equal to 1 coefficient of a becomes 0 and coefficient of c becomes 0 you get the value of b as 1 by 3 when I put x is equal to minus 2 the coefficient of a becomes 0 and b becomes 0 you will get the value of c ok anyway now we cannot now take any other value now therefore what we will do is we will just put some value at random we will put x is equal to 0 then you will get a expression involving a b c and uh, by putting the value of b and c you will get the value of a well it is a technique is very simple we are uh, going on putting some values and evaluating the value of a b c now we got the value of a b c now put it inside the partial fraction 2 by 9 by that 1 by 3 by and minus 2 by 9 integrate it for 2 by 9 by integral 1 upon x minus 1 and oh, dx upon x minus 1 the whole square and integral 1 upon x plus 2 constants are very very important now we have to integrate it is uh, 2 by 9 into log of x minus 1 plus 1 by 3 and uh, you know the integration of x minus 1 the whole 1 upon x minus 1 the whole square it is minus 1 upon x minus 1 and log 1 by x minus x plus 2 log log of x plus 2 